Hi, I'm Charlie, and I want to talk about my new book, The Complete Guide to No-Dig Gardening. There are certain tips and tricks that you can do that I highlight in the book that help you create a beautiful flower, vegetable, and herb garden while maintaining the soil health and helping the planet too. Some of these tips and tricks really revolve around protecting the soil. And the one I like to always promote is making sure that something is on your soil 12 months of the year, whether it be plants growing or mulch on it. The idea is that you don't want to leave your soil bare. It'll open it up for erosion from wind and rain and snow, and it'll break down some of those compounds that will be helping your plants grow. So make sure you always have some kind of mulch. It could be an organic mulch, like bark or wood chips or hay or straw or grass clippings or chopped leaves. Or it could be something like a cover crop. Now most of the time when we talk about cover crops, we're talking about planting something, perhaps in the fall, that will grow through the winter and then get tilled in in the spring. But remember, we're not tilling or digging in no-dig garden. So how do you use cover crops? The way to do it is to select cover crops that will naturally die in the winter in a cold climate or are annuals. These can include things like annual ryegrass and field peas and mustard. All these crops will grow up in the fall, they'll naturally die back, creating a nice mulch for your garden and keep the roots in the soil so it'll maintain the soil structure. Then in the spring, all you need to do is come in with a layer of compost and then just plant right through it. In fact, that's how you can treat your whole garden. There's another technique I talk about called chop and drop. That means if you have plants like this echinacea here, when it's done in the fall, instead of pulling it out and moving it over to a compost pile, just chop it all down to the ground and leave it as a mulch. It'll be a nice way to add organic matter to that soil and protect the soil throughout the winter. And finally, don't pull the roots of plants out of your raised beds. Leave the roots there, cut them right down to the, to the soil line, but leave the roots there so that it maintains that soil structure. Remember, one of the main tenets of no-dig gardening is not disturbing the soil. And by pulling the roots out, you're disturbing the soil. So let it all just naturally decay, come in in the spring, whether you're doing the chop and drop or leaving the roots there, and just put a layer of compost over it and plant right through whatever's been left to decompose. For more great information about this book, The Complete Guide to No-Dig Gardening, go to GardenWithCharlie.com.